Hi, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of creating the motion graph that mimics what we do in lesson 4.3. I do want to point out before we get going, this is not an answer key. I do have different data points, but the process will be the same and that's kind of the important part. So I'm going to do this twice. Once is going to be in Google Sheets and the other one is going to be in Microsoft Excel. Um, I'm going to do them both part of the same video, so you can skip ahead about halfway through if you want to see me do this in Excel instead. The, the process is kind of the same. Excel, I think, is better in this case because of some of the options that it gives you as far as like redistributing um, the values, redoing the tick marks for the, the horizontal axis of your motion graph later on. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to highlight the data. Notice that I've been very careful about labeling the data because if I do that within Google Sheets, Google is smart enough to figure out when I want to insert a chart that those are actually the labels for my axes. So time in minutes is already along the X and displacement is already along the Y. Typically, whenever you graph data, whenever you type it out, you do want to put the X on the left column and the Y on the right. That's how it's going to try to read it. This is not the kind of graph that I want though. So I'm going to go change the chart type from column chart to the one right next to it. It even looks correctly. Displacement, miles from school versus time. That's pretty nice. Um, only real things that you can do here, I mean, this is a pretty simplified version. It does not have all the bells and whistles that Microsoft Excel has. It does give me the ability, say, to um, go and customize something like the legend. Since there's only one color line and it's blue, and I probably know what that is based on the title and the axes, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the legend. I'm going to say none. Let's spread it out a little bit. Um, let's say I want to go a little bit bigger. I want to go up past 2.5 so I can see that. I want to go out past 150 here. I'm going to go to my horizontal axis and just going to say here that the maximum value is 180 instead. So three hours shown. And perhaps on the, um, let's see here, on the vertical axis, let's go ahead and go all the way up to 3.0. That'll show me a little bit more of the graph. So I can do that if I want to. I can change the grid lines as well. Right now, the major auto grid line, it looks like is every 50 units. So if I wanted to change that to, I don't know, like 10 or something, I could do this. I could show 10 different, oh, I don't like that. Take that back off. That was for the vertical axis. It's going to show 10 sets of grid lines. Uh, I don't need that many. It looks like I need one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So that makes it a little bit easier. Each one of these little segments is on a, on a graph. Again, major grid line count is how many grid lines do you want to show. And then on the horizontal axis, I'm going to go ahead and change that to, so, I don't know, maybe 10. Let's see how that looks. That's all right. You know, nothing special. Again, it's a little bit tougher because now this is showing 20-minute increments, and you'll notice that my time kind of goes in 15-minute inter intervals instead or multiples of 15. So it does make it a little bit tougher in order to redo the grid lines. That's why I think Microsoft Excel is better. But you do have a nice little motion graph here with only a couple of clicks. Um, that we were able to create. So let's jump over to Excel then, take a look at what it looks like over there. So I have Microsoft Excel open, data is typed in here. I highlight, I insert, and then all of my recommended charts are over here. In this case, we're going to use an Excel, we use what's called a scatter plot instead. You have lots of different options here. If you hover over, it'll show you what it's going to look like, like a scatter plot with a line. That That's not good but because the lines are smooth. But if I come down here, we have a scatter plot with straight lines and markers. That's pretty nice. So that's what I want to use in this case. Unfortunately, it does not add in the axes titles for me. So if I want to go do that, I need to go up to add a chart element. So in axes titles, horizontal axis first, time and minutes, and enter. And then let's go ahead and add a vertical axis, and this would be displacement, miles from school. And you, in essence, you have the same thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the title too by double clicking on it. And we're going to go displacement versus time. And size a little bit. Looks pretty good. Now, again, 20 minute increments. In Microsoft Excel, what you do to change the axes is you double click on it. So I'm going to double click on the axis. I'm going to go here to. Uh, Format the axis. There it is. Axis options. Now I'm going to change the units. Instead of being 20 minute increments, I'm going to go 15 minute increments. And you'll notice what happens here is now everything lies on a nice, neat location where it's easy to determine the XY coordinates. So that's what I was really looking for earlier. Hopefully this helps out. If you've got any questions, as always, feel free to email me.